Hey, Josh from Koki. Today I want to show you how to make the most professional, best sounding voice clones with the Koki Studio. If you've been using the Koki Studio already, you probably know that it's very easy to make a voice clone. You upload audio, maybe you've got something pre-recorded, you just drag and drop your MP3 or your WAV file. Or if you don't have something pre-recorded, you can hit on the microphone button and record your own voice clone just right from the browser. I wanna show you some tips and tricks, some obvious, maybe some not so obvious, on how to make a professional sounding voice clone. First rule of thumb is the better the input, the better the voice clone. If you have professional sounding audio, professional sounding voice recording that you're uploading, you're much more likely to get professional sounding voice clone. If you upload something, on the other hand, that's got a lot of background noise, it's got room echo, maybe the recording itself is just not high quality, maybe it sounds like you're talking over a telephone. Um, all these things will degrade the quality of your voice clone. So you wanna to try to avoid those. And you might be thinking, well, hey, I don't have a professional studio, I don't have a sound booth, I don't have a professional microphone. You actually don't need all of those things. Follow some of these tips and tricks and you can, you can get there. Rule number one, listen to the audio before you upload it. This goes for whether or not you're dragging and dropping uh, WAV files or MP3s, or if you're recording something through the microphone. When you're recording something through the microphone, there is, after you're done, a play button. Listen to it. Second, make sure there's no background noise. Make sure there's no echo. Background noise can be sneakier than you think. If you're recording in your house, it might come from things like refrigerators, air conditioning, um, these kind of low humming noises can be annoying for, uh, for the voice cloning. For echo, uh, this is something you can get around with by making a recording not in a room with bare walls, which I've kind of got right now, so it's probably gonna be a bit of an echo in this video. Uh, when it comes to recording, you don't need like professional soundproofing on the walls. You can just do something as simple as open your closet and record in front of your clothes. That way, your voice is hitting the clothes Echo is getting absorbed, reflections are getting absorbed. It's a very simple trick that is used very regularly for voiceover. Distance to the microphone. You wanna make sure that you're not too close and not too far away from the microphone. Uh, if you're farther away, then the room noise creeps in. If you're too close, you get these kind of popping noises that will have a, a bad effect on the voice clone. Something that you may not have thought of is uh, a lot of us actually do have good microphones lying around the house they're in our smartphones. Uh, and also, nice thing about smartphones is they're very mobile, so you can easily go find different places uh, in your house, in your apartment for, uh, for recording. It's easier to record standing in front of your closet, for example, with your smartphone. If you're uploading a sample of speech that's very monotone, it's very flat, you're more likely to get a flat, monotone voice clone at the end. Granted, with the Koki Studio, you can then go and change the emotion, you can change the performance, but still, it's better to upload more expressive speech in the beginning. Lastly, this is a kind of common misconception. Uh, it's a reasonable one, but it's, it's, it doesn't actually hold. It's not the case that if you upload more audio, your voice will sound better. More audio isn't always better, but better audio is always better. And actually we've seen that there is a kind of uh, a point of diminishing returns for uploading more audio. 30 seconds is a very nice, solid sample. You should take the time to ensure that you upload 30 seconds and that it's, like I said, no echo, no background noise, uh, good distance from the microphone, professional sounding. If you have 30 seconds of professional sounding audio, you are very likely to get a solid voice clone. So I hope these tips and tricks have been useful and uh, have fun using the Koki Studio.